Bluebird snakes are out of brumation, which means we have to thaw some food. And we go through 400 mice for the adult colubrids, and we have to thaw out 160 medium rats. And each one of these mice costs us almost 50 cents a piece. Just the mice alone to feed the adult colubrids is about $80, and we have to do that twice a week. And then the weaned rats are actually 75 cents a piece, which means it costs about $150 every time we feed. That's twice a week, which means the adult colubrids alone cost us $335 a week just to feed. So while those are thawing, I figured you guys might want to know how much does it cost us to feed everything that we keep at the Reptarium and BHP every week. By the way, thank you Noom for partnering with me on this video. You guys know that we feed frozen rabbits here at the Reptarium. Oh, there she goes. She's got it. What a beautiful snake. There you go, buddy. Nice, perfect hit right there. Now I'll give him those. There you go, buddy. We're talking about feeding the Reptarium and all of our animals, including snakes. Snakes are pretty interesting. They eat without hands. So today I'm challenging these two to see if they can actually eat without hands, starting with apples. Can we get the stem out so we don't poke me in I eat it all nowadays. I eat the core and everything. <laughs> some best. Ready, go. Damn, you got a strong jaw. <laughs> no, what are you doing? You fall asleep? That's smaller bite. Size? You know, wrangling snakes takes a lot of energy, and I'm not going to lie to you. I put on a couple pounds over the last few months, and it's really bothered me. So I'm super excited that I've been working with Noom. I've been working on it for the last few weeks, and I've lost like 10 pounds. They have a really cool psychological curriculum where you think differently about weight loss, right? It's not really a diet. It's a way of life, and it's really helped me personally. I love their lessons that I take every single day. I love the fact that I can log food every day, which is cool because it really keeps me on track for my calories. And also, the thing that's really cool is it means that I don't have to cut out the things I really enjoy. Like, hey, if I want to eat pizza once in a while, it's fine. I just got to eat good foods and a little bit of pizza instead of a lot of pizza and no good food. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Might be the best thing I've done all day. This has been awesome. <laughs> oh my god, bite just finished. How did you do this all? We go through about 80 pounds of rabbits per week and they cost us two dollars per pound. So that's $160 per week just in rabbit and frozen pig. You know Ben and Jerry actually eats fuzzy mice. Just in mice, Rat. fuzzy mice, we go through over $100 a week in feeding. And of course, there's all the razor snakes that we're raising up for future breeders. Whoa! This happens to be a scaleless okatee. Oh my gosh, it's a feisty little monkey too. These have to get fed twice a week, believe it or not. So there's a lot of food that goes into these. And remember those Cape file snakes? Look at how good they're doing. Put on a lot of size. They're definitely crushing food, which is really cool. Feeding all this aisle twice a week. That's a lot of pinkies. There's a lot of fuzzies. And hey, super pied musarana rat snakes that are eating adult mice or sometimes even small rats. All the mice and rats and fuzzies just in this aisle and this aisle here. We go through about 250 fuzzies, 50 mice, and 50 rats. So between the fuzzies, the rats, and the mice here alone, it's about $400 twice a week, $800 just for these two aisles. She's drinking. So cute. You guys may not know, but I went to school for science, so I love Noom's science approach to things, right? And it really keeps you on track. It keeps you honest because you log your weight, your meals. And the thing I like is if you do miss something, they're not critical. They just give you a healthy nudge like, hey, we all fall away every now and then. Why don't we get on track? We can start today. Next up, you guys have to actually eat a stick of beef jerky with all your hands. You ready? <laughs> the bed. Not bad. This, this is like a middle school. Boing. Boing. I don't want to. It tastes so bad. Mike is just... Don't put this on OnlyFans. <laughs> what? <laughs> Be 
You know, Mike's got a hidden talent now. I'm going to hold meat log in my mouth. We're in the season where we don't have a tremendous amount of baby snakes, but we still have plenty there. During the summer months when we're hatching colubrids like crazy, we can sometimes have up to 2,000 snakes here that we have to feed. And each one of those snakes get fed every single week, at least one pinky. And a pinky costs us about 30 cents, so you could do the math on that one. It could be up to $600 a week just to feed the babies that are for sale. Mm, new boots, 245. All our leopard geckos are out of brumation as well, which means they are eating like crazy. And these are a bunch of mealworms here. I'll just put this gecko in here. This is how much we feed them each week. No, that's not true. But we do go through 80,000 mealworms per week. That costs us about $1,000 a week. Of course, dubia roaches are great for all of our lizards. We feed these to a ton of things. We go through about $200 worth of dubia roaches every single week here at the Reptarium. You guys want another one? Hey, don't eat with your mouth full, Will. That's $1,000 we shoot. I spend that on Lunchables and ice cream. I love the fact that Noom talks about relationships with food. I always thought of diets like you have to really go on this massive thing, eating you know veggies all the time and stuff like that. I love the fact that now I can eat the green food, the yellow food, the red food. They break it down into categories where it's like, hey, mainly eat green food, eat a little bit of yellow food, and just a little bit of red food, too. Mr. Brian, pickles and shit. <laughs> Oh, look, just her head cap is off. So this is the pre-lay shed, guys. We made the nest box about 21 to 25 days before she's gonna have her clutch egg. She is looking loaded up. That so. is super cool. Thanks, Mike, for showing. And that red food is stuff like, hey, if I want a cupcake, I can have a cupcake. And they keep me honest because I track it every day as well as get on that scale every single day to see where my progress is. And over the next few months, if I continue to follow this regimen, I should hit my goal of losing 20 more pounds. Of course, we go through a lot of super worms. We don't feed our iguanas that much. This is just kind of a little treat for them. They're such amazing animals. I love just sitting here and feeding them. You want one, Jake? See, come on. No, oh, did he almost got it? So we go through about $100 a week just in superworms. Superworms are a great way to supplement things too. Plus you can dust them with calcium and vitamin powder and they're actually really nutritious as well. But this guy I think wants the entire bowl. Here you go, girl. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> I tell you what, Diddy and Dixie are the best. Brian, come pick up your roach. Lori's mad at you. What is Lori mad at me now for? You dropped the roach. Mike. That's the third one I picked up. I trained it to sleep. Look at sleep. Get up. See that? Pretty cool, huh? In the way. Then of course we have turtle food and other miscellaneous food that we feed here at the Reptar. I'm gonna say we're gonna round that out at about a hundred bucks a week. Of course we have all the baby ball pythons down this aisle way. We did an entire video showing you each and every one of them. Heart is right here if you want to check that out. But we go through about 600 mice a week. Those mice cost us about 60 cents a piece. So that's about $360 a week just to feed this aisle. Last challenge to see if these guys can channel their inner butterscotch. I'm gonna throw these elements and see if they can catch them out of the air. Dude, those are fastballs. Give it some art. Sweet. <laughs> there we go. Good shot. One, two. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. I'm not good at this one. Oh, you see that one? <laughs> I'm up by like four. <laughs> What's also cool about Noom is that there's goal specialists that you're interacting with. These are real people that are trained in psychology, fitness, and nutrition. And it's just cool to be able to even get into chats with like-minded people like me so that when you need a little bit of a oomph, right, it's kind of a big change of what you think of a diet. And I think it's amazing because not only do I think it'll make me reach my goal, but I think it's going to keep me on track for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, yeah! I'm good at laughing too long when he threw a mark. I'm good at it. Oh, what? Look at that! I think I have a freaking professor. <laughs> Noah belongs in a circus on this one. Hey, Laurie! Can you sweep the floor? I always preach how important it is to feed your snakes when you're breeding them. The adult ball pythons, we power feed them during the breeding season, actually maintain them the rest of the year. But during that breeding season, we're really pushing food. We go through about 700 medium rats per week. It costs us about $1.75, so that's $1,225 a week just in adult ball python food. And we go through a ton of produce each and every week to the tune of about $200. I don't know why Brian thinks I take so long doing this. It really takes like a whole five, six minutes. Nuts, man. Calm back down. God, he was so nice. Redfoots? Not much. Juicy. Vitamin powder. I shouldn't have ran him out of breath. 
before you take off my hand. And then of course we have a bunch of miscellaneous boas and pythons like this hog island boa, this doomerals boa, a bunch of Brazilian rainbow boas, cool mutations of Colombian rainbow boas, children's, spotted, savu pythons, T negative albino blood pythons, countless rock pythons, Madagascan tree boas, diamond pythons, and so much more. And all of these have to get fed too, costing about $500 a week to feed the rest of the boas and pythons down in the dungeon. Go ahead and click the link in the description or you can go to noom.com slash Brian Bartrek to get your free Noom evaluation. It's quick and easy and they'll create a custom plan just for you. And it's time to feed the Kalubers for the first time of the year. And of course we feed our monitor lizard rodent, beef, chicken, fish, and we're gonna spend anywhere from $200 to $500 a week just to feed all of our monitor lizards. Me, me. Come on. Whoa! Yeah, he's ready. This is this is cheating. This is cheating. No, 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 you don't get on that. No, go on, go back home. And cover it in dirt, because why not? bit in the back of the neck. Yeah. Mike said it would hurt though. It didn't hurt. So the grand total is about $6,250, give or take a couple hundred dollars per week to feed everything here at the zoo. That's not including all the other overhead, electricity, labor costs, building, all the other type of stuff. Just to give you guys an idea, we spoil our animals a lot and it definitely costs a lot of money. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Pound of bacon and then a bunch of ice cream after.